So now we are going to study the most important part of this that is the gap junction. That is the fourth type of junctional complex, which is gap junction or nexus. So this is present on the lateral surface of epithelial cell. So here you can see this is present on the lateral surface of the epithelial cell and it is transverse by various transmembrane uh, connections, proteins. These are connected, uh, these are the things which connect two type of cells. Also far away, not neighboring cell. And that's why these are known as connexons. So you can see here in gap junction, this is hexagonal type of cells. This is the transmembrane protein or connection. And this is two are connected by a central core. And material can go like from this to this. Okay. So this is the connection. So this is uh, also act as a metabolic coupling of cell. This create between the two cells like couple. Uh, what do you mean by couple? To one boy and girl, they married together or as a not married together as a, they have similar uh, thoughts and goals so like the, here also they form the two cell as a together as a unit for a similar function so that is known as metabolic coupling they create the metabolic coupling of the cells now they also help like in the cells uh, then the in hepatocyte hepatocytes or cardiac myocytes cardiac myocytes Okay, now they not only the exchange of the nutrients from one, this is the extracellular material, this is the um, uh, membrane central pore through which they can um, uh, help in the exchange of the nutrient from the extracellular material from the one cell to the other cells. Okay, not only that materials and diffusion of the cells, they also act uh, for the electrical synapse between the cardiac muscle and smooth muscle. Like in cardiac muscle or smooth muscle, we need the continuous contractibility. So there is a quick, tra uh, quick transverse of the impulses and forming of the synapses. So for this also electrical synapse between cardiac muscle and smooth muscle, and this is the connection so what how do you understand so this is this is one thing you can see here this is one protein and this is other protein and this whole is dipped into the extracellular material so these two are transversed by this membrane central pore so they are only connected with the central pore through which the diffusion of the material and other things will take place so this is about that gap junction so this is very important and you also remember it. Okay, thank you.